We got some important things to do today and some very exciting news has been announced. Let's get to it. So let's get to it. The April content update. As you can see on that first page we have here, Mega Heracross makes his Pokemon Go debut. Shiny Kartana, Shadow Shiny Entei is gonna be coming and Shiny Celesteela. We kind of knew about the last three, but Mega Heracross, what a surprise right there. That is gonna be amazing. I guess let's get right into the raids of the month. In five star raids to start April, we have Kartana, the brand new Shiny Ultra Beast. It's incredibly useful and it's gonna be shiny for the first time ever. That's awesome. And it's gonna be available in the Northern Hemisphere at the same time as Celesteela, another new shiny, another pretty useful Ultra Beast. Very, very cool stuff right there. Hot start to April, love to see that. Followed up by Tapu Bulu, which is a, you know, shiny eligible legendary, so that's something. That'll be around for two weeks, of course. Uh, I don't know how useful really Tapu Bulu is. Uh, I can't remember, but I don't think it's like a must have Pokemon. Followed up by Registeel to end the month, a shiny eligible legendary, one of the OG shiny legendaries in this game. Very useful in PVP. At least at one point, I'm sure it still is. And a very cool Pokemon. I actually have always wanted a Hundo Registeel, so I'm gonna be on the hunt and I'm actually gonna be doing those raids, even though it's only gonna be around for a week. Why do they give the Ultra Beast eight days, Tapu Bulu two weeks, and Registeel a week? Like, why, why does that make any sense? Anyways, in Mega Raids to start the month, we have Mega Charizard X. Gotta love that Charizard energy, those Charizard encounters. I'll be doing those. Followed up by the brand new Mega Pokemon, Mega Heracross. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, Mega Heracross makes its debut. Very, very awesome. I'll tell you right now, I've been waiting to use this 100% IV Lucky Heracross that I got a few years back in Japan. I mean, I need more candies to 50 max it. I'm, I'm on the way there, but I've been waiting for raids to come out. I already have a double moved and everything. This is an incredible Pokemon. It's a very rare Pokemon, one of the nicest ones I have, at least regional wise, and I'm excited to use it, but I need more candies. And more importantly, I need the shiny. Shiny Heracross is a top tier shiny from the early generations, and I want one. I'll be doing so many of these raids. I'm assuming I'll get my first one through that. That'll be exciting when it happens, but shout out to Heracross. Shout out to Mega Heracross, I'm ready. Mega Heracross is actually gonna be a top of the line mega bug attacker, so that's gonna be exciting. I believe that's a fighting type. It's pretty good, but there's probably better options out there. Still exciting for bugs though, that's great. And then to end the month, we have Mega Aggron coming back to Pokemon Go. I feel like I haven't seen that in a while. It's been a minute, I like Aggron, I'm cool with that. Then of course, in Shadow Raids every weekend in uh, April, there's gonna be Shadow and Tay in Raids with the first ever Shiny Shadow eligibility. That is a beautiful Shadow Shiny. Shadow and is a great Pokemon. Pokemon on its own, an absolute beast. I still use mine, as a matter of fact. I only have one, and it is a beast. Check this out, 93% IV Shadow Entei. I use this guy all the time, very, very dope. I've powered it up a solid amount, not all the way, probably one day, I don't have any XLs, but a super dope Pokemon, super useful, and uh, let me know if I have the best boob set, by the way, because I don't know if that's it. But Shadow Entei is gonna be awesome, great raids to do, and of course, a beautiful shiny legendary. Just to take a quick look, I mean, this is gonna be amazing as a Shadow Shiny. I gotta get that, bro. You know I say that and I've only done like one Shadow Raikou raid. They're just impossible, bro. These Shadow Legendary raids are so hard to do when you don't have friends to play with all the time or if you don't have a community and they're hard to take down, man. You need a good amount of people. Like sure I have like one to three friends at phone calls notice that would play with me, but I don't know if I have like six or seven like that. So I wish they were more doable. I know we would all do so many Shadow Legendary raids if we could, but they're just uh, they're just way too hard. Anyways, when Tapu Bulu does come back, it's actually gonna have an exclusive move, Nature's Madness, which is gonna do 80 damage and lower the opponent's defense defense in trainer battles and 90 damage in gyms and raids. And here are the events for April. So we have the Sizable Surprises event, which is gonna be super great. We have the brand new Shiny Wimpod. We have Shiny Kartana, Shiny Celesteela. That's gonna be a fire event. Also, of course, the best opportunity to get extra, extra large and small Pokemon. We all love that. Followed up by April Community Day Classic, which has been announced. It is Bag On. Bag On Community Day Classic is coming back. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be shiny. It's gonna be useful. We all love Bag On. That's gonna be great. Then we have the Bug Out event, which I'm assuming we'll be getting a new shiny Pokemon in the game, a new shiny bug. Maybe it's Scatterbug, maybe it's, uh, gosh, I actually don't know. We'll see. Something new, that'll be fun, and that's actually when Mega Heracross is probably gonna debut. Then we have Mega Heracross Raid Day. So yes, that answers that question. Mega Heracross is gonna get its own Raid Day. Love that. From 2 to 5 p.m. on April 13th, I'm sure we'll get a bunch of free raids. I'm sure it's gonna be great shiny odds. I need that. Then on April 20th, we have April Community Day, which I don't think has been announced as of right now. Obviously, we just had Litten. The next one is gonna be back on, and then this one could be, gosh, I don't know. Then we have the Sustainability Week event, which is usually good in my memory. We always get like a cool new shiny for that event and some good bonuses. So hoping sustainability
sustainability week is going to be fire. And then we have a hatch day on April 28th. Now, I believe our last hatch day was hatch day Ryolu. And my gosh, did I miss out on that day? I couldn't play. I forgot I had something very important that day. But I wasn't able to play. And I heard the shiny rates were incredible. So pretty upset about that. Hopefully they run it back with a really cool shiny. I feel like, you know what? What's an egg exclusive shiny that they would do? I could see this being like a Vullaby hatch day or a Ponyard. Oh, it's probably Ponyard hatch day. We'll see if I'm right about that. That's my guess. But solid events in April. We'll know more about those events when they come out, but that's exciting either way. And now let's talk about the special hours. So raid hours, of course, we have Tapu Lele on the third, then Cartana and Celestila, and then Tapu Bulu two times to end the month. Spotlight hours, we have Zubat, Krogunk, Trubbish, and Clefairy. That Trubbish spotlight hour is going to be incredible for Stardust, so stay on the lookout for that. And I didn't miss this, trust me. On April 16th, there's going to be a special spotlight hour. It's going to be for Caterpie, Weedle, and Wormpool, all shiny eligible, and there's going to be double catch Stardust. So very important spotlight hour if you need dust and a lot of shiny eligible opportunities. Honestly, April looks pretty stacked. I feel like in recent memories, April has never been a good month for Pokemon Go. It's just quite boring, but this is good. This is exciting. A lot of new shinies, shiny Ultra Beasts, shiny Shadow Legendaries. I'm down. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most in April. It's going to be good. And you know what else could be good is this Prime Gaming research. I'm on stage three of it, and I have three encounters. Our last stage gave us three more lulls, and how about getting, ooh, man, Hisuian Growlithe. So this is one of my favorite new shinies that we've been getting. I do have two of them. I got them recently at the Sinnoh Tour Los Angeles event, but I still would love to get a hundo and or more shinies. So let me go ahead and enjoy this right here, right now. So we can growl if not shiny there. And we still have a stage four after this. I don't know if it's going to be all completed or if we have more encounters. Hopefully more encounters. Down that goes. Five, five, four. A little bit better. But ladies and gentlemen, our final encounter. No. 540. Gotta be better. No shinies in this research so far. We have had some good shiny opportunities, but no luck yet. GG's, it's free, so I'm definitely not complaining. 540's not good. Okay, what's up next? Give me an incubator, 20 gray balls, and 20 ultra balls for a free prime gaming research. Massive W. Oh, thank gosh. It is done. Ladies and gents, give me 15 stickers for some reason. 10,000 dust, 10,000 XP. And I remember, I remember this is a Drampa encounter. This could be shiny. That would be crazy. What a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, shiny Drampa. No, sir, not gonna be shiny there. I have this shiny already. If you guys haven't seen that clip, it was from an adventure a few weeks back. It was awesome. Live on video, shiny Drampa. But let's grab this one right here. It'd be a cool hundo. Drampa, very cool, uh, but unfortunately not. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's a three star fifth in attack. I'll take it. Now, speaking of not bad, there's something I forgot to do on Kyogre Raid Day and on Groudon Raid Day when I remember it again. It's to put the gosh darn exclusive move. Why have I not done this? You guys were flaming me in the comments. Hey, guys, just tell me, all right? I forgot. Yeah. It's all good. I need to get the exclusive move uh, Origin Pulse on my Kyogre. We're going to do that right here, right now, with an Elite Charge TM. It's worth doing in a video, bro. This is my Shundo Kyogre. We're going to give it Origin Pulse. I kind of wish there was like a cool screen or something when you Elite TM Pokemon, because it's kind of a pretty important thing to do. It's not a common thing. That is a premium, premium item. But there we go. We have Origin Pulse on the Kyogre. I believe now this is the best move set for Kyogre. Let me know in the comments. Do I need Thunder on it? I probably don't. I don't know. Should I throw Surf back on? Should I Thunder, let me know in the comments, but we need Origin Pulse on that, on our 100% of the Shunno Kyogre. Obviously, goaded, best Pokemon ever that I have. But let me not forget to do that as well on my other Hundo Kyogre right here. Let's get rid of, wait, what? Blizzard? Oh yeah, do I want Blizzard or Thunder? I don't know. I guess I'll get rid of Surf for now either way and put on Origin Pulse for this Hundo Kyogre, this other Hundo that I have right here. Not a Shundo, unfortunately, but still, gosh darn beast. It was very important I did that because I knew I'd forget if I didn't do it today, so I'm glad I did. And speaking of Primals, make sure you guys watch my Primal Kyogre Ogre and Primal Groudon Adventures. They were awesome, bro. We had incredible times. Hundos on both days. Shinies galore on both days. It was awesome. And a quick update. I am still working on the Rogue of the Jungle special research, which is going to give us Zerud in Pokemon Go. I know I'm only at stage two, but it's a pretty easy research to move through. And this week, I will be claiming my Zerud. I know this was a ticketed research that a lot of people didn't want to buy. I got it. So you guys can see firsthand what Zerud looks like in Pokemon Go, even though it's been here before. It's still an epic thing. It's still an epic Pokemon to have. It's very useful. It's very awesome, and I'll be getting that done this week. Well, hey, there's a lot of exciting things happening in Pokemon Go. I feel like I say that every day, and that's a good thing to say, man. I'm not mad about it. I'll tell you what. I know we talked about it earlier. Go check out some recent adventures we've been doing. They have been very, very fun. A lot of good luck lately, and I hope you guys enjoy.